Number one reason why software piracy persists is that legitimate software are very expensive. Most people cannot afford to buy legitimate software. This leads us to the second cause of software piracy, poverty. A study by University of Singapore shows that piracy thrives greater when the income gap between the rich and the poor is relatively large. The ease of pirating software using peer-to-peer -peer file sharing applications such as BitTorrent and LimeWire also contributes greatly to the prevalence of software piracy. One effect of software piracy is the risk that the consumer system will be corrupted since the pirated software could be defective or could contain viruses. Also, pirated software usually has inadequate documentation. Thus, the consumers cannot enjoy the full benefits of the package. The consumers cannot take advantage of technical support and product updates. Developers are also harmed. They lose revenues, thus cannot invest in future development and better software packages. This phenomenon, in turn, hinders the growth of the software company. Lastly, the economy of the country is hurt. As concluded by a study by the Business Software Alliance, losses in the software industry due to piracy in the Philippines reached $202 million in 2008. The World Intellectual Property Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations. It is dedicated to developing a balanced and accessible international intellectual property system which rewards creativity, stimulates innovation, and contributes to economic development while safeguarding to the public interest. The Optical Media Board is the renamed Videogram Regulatory Board assigned to regulate the manufacture of optical media in all its forms and impose stiffer fines and penalties for its illegal reproduction. Republic Act No. 8293 An act prescribing the Intellectual Property Code and establishing the Intellectual Property Office providing for its powers and functions, and for other purposes. Republic Act No. 9239 An act regulating optical media, reorganizing for this purpose the Videogram Regulatory Board, providing penalties therefore, and for other purposes. The 5th Annual Business Software Alliance and International Data Corporation Global Software Piracy Study, last 2007, concluded that the software piracy rate in the Philippines is 69%. Piracy rate is the total number of units of pirated software deployed in 2007 divided by the total units of software installed. The OMB conducts an online survey on whether their website visitors think that software piracy affects the economy. As of March 3, 2010, 80% of the respondents voted yes. The Filipinas Anti-Piracy Team is a government-led campaign which aims to significantly reduce software piracy in the country and promote respect for IPR. This is not a new task force but a joint undertaking by the NBI, ONB, PNP in cooperation with the IP Coalition and the Business Software Alliance. They want to show that government agencies are working together as a team 
to eliminate piracy so that the Philippines will be seen as a country with strong IPR protection. To report piracy, contact 0918-888-3777. Stop piracy at its source.